Olivia, um, have you seen my Aunt Alex around? Uh, do you excuse us? No, I haven't. You want to leave a message? No, it's all right. I'll wait for her. I'm sure she'll be home from the memorial service soon. You didn't go? I thought that you and Ben were friends. He was also a murderer. Plus, you know, I don't really do funerals. Oh. So did you uh, keep up your end of the bargain? Did you tell Dr. Boudreau that you're the one who sent Ben after Marina and Shane? Well, you see, I would like to, but that falls underneath doctor-patient confidentiality. Sorry, Olivia. Yeah. I guess now you're just gonna run and tell my dad. You know, it's too bad he won't believe you over me. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe not at first, but I can make him listen. In fact, I'll, I'll just arrange a full-blown intervention if I have to. <laughs> You've got to be kidding I me. I kid you not. I think you're a trouble girl, Lizzie, and I will do whatever it takes to make your father see that. Thank you. Well, you better get cracking on that intervention, Olivia. How do those work anyway? Will you be serving refreshments afterwards? Is it? Oh, what about a nice cake with Save Lizzie across it? You know what? Maybe. Maybe. If someone had been there to see what was going on with him, maybe to help him. Lives could have been saved, his included. But there was no one there to see whatever it was that was going wrong in him. And look what happened to him. I'm not going to let that happen to you. Because believe it or not, I understand a lot about where you're coming from. I was a lot like you when I was younger. Excuse me? I wanted nothing more than to have a big old happy, normal family. And you know something I still do? I would give that to you if I could. Because honestly, the last thing I want to see is you self-destruct. See, I thought that's what you would be rooting for. Because with me at your way, you would have a straight path to my dad. Oh, jeez. Come here. Listen. Feel this. You feel that? That's your brother or your sister. This is not about your father. This is a new family that's being created, and you are a big part of that, Lizzie. You got a lot going on, you know? You are in so deep, you, you, you can't even see it. You just need some help. No, you're the one who needs help comparing me to a killer. Ben wasn't always a serial killer. He was a hurt and angry kid who just needed to vent, who, who needed some help. Look what happened to him. Lizzie, just talk to your doctor, talk to your parents, but talk to somebody. Okay, what if I don't? Will I get sent off to crazy camp like when I was little? I'll say it again. I think you need help. And I'm going to make sure you get it. Dr. Felicia Boudreau, please leave a message at the tone. Hi, Dr. Boudreau. This is Lizzie Spaulding. Um, I really need to... Well, I just want to tell you that things have kind of got a little out of control with Olivia, and she's... I don't know. I've just really be ha been having these thoughts about... I guess I just really need your help, okay? And... To play back your message, press 1. To delete, press 2. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing out here? I was just waiting for Aunt Alex to get home. Hey. Have you been crying? No, it's just allergies, Dad. You don't have allergies. It's Ben, isn't it? Oh, honey. I know he was your friend. But I hope you're not still blaming yourself for what happened to him. You know what? There were a lot of people who were much closer to Ben than you were, and they didn't see this coming. If they couldn't, how could you? Thanks for saying that, Dad. Honey, I just wish I had said it a lot sooner. I've been so caught up in my own problems. And I think that's probably what happened to Ben. The people that loved him were so tied up in their own messes that they didn't realize that he was in trouble. And honey, I don't want that to ever happen to us. I don't want to fall into that trap. Okay? Yeah, Ben. How do you mean that? 
I want to make sure that we pay enough attention. Okay, I want to appreciate things. Like the fact that I have got an incredible dog who has been through so much in her short life and who has become somebody that I am very proud of. I haven't been fair to you, honey. I've been involving you in my problems with Olivia, and that's just not fair. It's okay, Dad. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. But as usual, it took a good slap in the face from your Uncle Rick to show me that. He is good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Allergies? that you can't tell us. No matter what it is, we will always get you through it, okay? I promise. Daddy, there's something I have to tell you. In Austin. No, wait, maybe after. I don't know. It's just, things were bad. It was really bad, and then I came home because I thought, but things weren't the same, Dad, and... I don't know, I made some bad choices, and I didn't mean for... They just screwed up. Oh, honey, it's okay. Hey, you have been working so hard to make things better for yourself. You've been seeing Felicia. You've, you've, you've even been trying with Olivia. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. No, honey, wait. No, wait, it's I'll okay. Wait. Um, it'll wait. I, I'll meet you inside. Sorry, I didn't know you were out here. I interrupted something very important. Oh. Right on schedule. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I guess you're due. It's been a few hours since you've tried to throw yourself back into my life. <sighs> uh, yeah, well, about that. I apologize. I've uh, been acting. Like a real jerk. Okay. I, I like the way this conversation is going so far. I thought you might. Uh-huh. Um, I've been thinking a lot about things. About the baby, about, uh, about things that I did that I probably shouldn't have done. Uh, or definitely shouldn't have done. You were right. I gave you every reason to doubt my feelings for you. Until I found out about the baby. And then I jumped back into your life and started bending over backwards, trying to prove my feelings for you. When the truth is, think in our way. I think it's in your way. It's haven't been the same between us for a long time. And we both know why. I haven't been able to get past finding you with Alan in that hotel room. And every time we make the effort to try to get back together it's in our way I think it's in your way <laughs> okay so you know what Let, let's let's not do this I uh, I'm not feeling any better look I'm trying and the reason that I'm trying is because I I want it I want this to work with you but what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm not going to push anymore. Be because it wasn't working? Because it's not fair. To you. To anybody. So I'm just going to sit back and let things happen. And we'll see where it goes. That's a big deal for you. You have no idea. Mm. Huh? Well, you know. Could you just uh, come with me for a second? Where are we going? Well, you wanted to know where we were headed. Well, it's um, right here, actually. Um, it's 
just wanted to give you something. Here you go. What's this? It's the time and date of my next birthing class. I'll, um, I'll tell Cassie to sit this one out. 